we'll talk about August uh, housing starts. So that's going to increase our inventory too. And then we'll have one more article. Then I want to come to you guys. Uh, okay. So August housing starts. Or am I sharing the article? Sorry, wait. I got to produce for a second. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, there August you go. housing starts are better than expected. Housing starts continue to rise despite material and labor shortages. U.S. home builders started construction on 1.615 million homes. That's uh, in August. That's up 3.9 percent from July 2021 and 17.4 higher than a year ago. Wow. I remember at the start of 2020, it was really big news that housing starts were up 13 percent year over year. Right. And it was going to be huge. It was going to be amazing. Yeah. We were going to catch up, amazing. right? Well, now it's up 17.4%. I feel like this lead is buried. Across the country, 1.728 million building permits were pulled, which is 6% above the revised rate from a month prior. And that That's the big one, the permits. That's new yeah. uh, new projects that are coming, you know, coming to the, the, the near future. Uh, let's see. The first American deputy chief economist, Odetta Kushi, said in a statement that the August month over month increase in permits and housing starts indicates that builders are eagerly responding to near record low rates, a limited supply of existing homes and sturdy demand driven by millennials aging into home ownership. All right. So there's uh, there's more information on this article. You guys could check out housing wire. I won't I won't exhaust it, but you, you get the gist of what it is. And I want to end it because it does say at the end there. The uh, uh, what is his name? It's uh, Dietz. Yeah, Dietz. He does end there. Uh, the National Association of Home Builders Chief Economist Robert Dietz is optimistic about the single family market's trajectory. Yeah, he says more inventory is this is a quote from him more inventory is coming for a market that continues to face housing deficit. The number of single family homes under construction in August is 702,000. It's the highest since the Great Recession and it's 32.7% higher than a year ago. That's huge. And then he goes on to say home builder sentiment improved for the first time in three months. Remember, we'd covered it that it had been dipping uh, as lumber prices eased and buyer demand grew. So I found an article from two days ago and sentiment rose one point. So it's nothing crazy, but <laughs> um, but it rose. It's going back up. I guess that's, uh -huh. why did, that's not a gigantic news story. But yeah, it's going back up. Instead of them talking about the depression of builders, still right. being above 50. But current, <laughs> current sales conditions climbed 1 point to 82. Buyer traffic increased. Remember, it had been going down. Mm -hmm. That's the number. That's at 61. That increased two points to 61. That's the number that's been, you know, builder sentiment is really based on buyer traffic. It had been going down. Now it's going back up. And then sales expectations in the next uh, six months held steady at 81. So the uh, sales conditions and sales expectations, those are both high, but uh, the, the buyer traffic is what's holding back. And that's gone back up into the 60s. So I think they're seeing, hey, buyer traffic's coming back. We got to keep building. Colin Jacob says hi. Hey, Colin. Love hey, buddy. Man. Uh, Julie Moon says, you like your housing market like you like your coffee. <laughs> Hot or cold? <laughs> fall. Right, so, Wait, that yeah, fall. Fall. Pumpkin spiced. That's what we like. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fall, existing home sales fall. 2%. It's the first time home buyers are priced out. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we're all going to die. Uh, sales of previously owned home declined 2% in August. Seasonally adjusted annualized rate of 5.88 million units, according to the National Association of Realtors. Sales were 1.5% lower than August 2020 for the first annual decline in 14 months. Uh, Lisa Perk says pour over. That's how she likes her market. Uh, these numbers are <laughs> account of home closings are based on contracts likely signed in June and July. Quote, the housing sector is clearly settling down. Um, said Lawrence Yoon, uh, chief economist for the realtors who called last year's super surge an anomaly. Uh, the supply of homes fell 1.5% month to month and it, the inventory was down 13% uh, compared with August 2020. Yeesh. We do expect more inventory coming up with the end of the eviction moratorium, Yoon said. Or will it be the end of the eviction moratorium? Uh, first time then, home buyers are clearly struggling yeah. with the higher prices, falling to just 29% of the share of sales. It's the lowest since January of 2019. Historically, first time home buyers usually make up 40% of buyers. 
So we have fewer first time home buyers in the market. Could that be coupled with the lack of supply at the lower one third of the market, which is traditionally where first time home buyers purchase? Absolutely. So and that's what's it, skewing the median price range because there's the activity in the higher price ranges are up 40%. Yeah. All right. So I want to come to you guys now. If you are in a clubhouse, you flash your mic. I'd love to hear about your market. What's happening? Are you seeing some of these same trends? Is it cooling off in your area or is it still very hot? Are you still getting multiple, multiple offers? What's going on? So just clue us in. We covered four different articles there about the economy or no one can join too. That's fine. And we'll just wax. <laughs> okay. All right. Jan, I, I convinced Jan to say something. He had a very meager one mic flash mic okay so he's like all right, right fine i'll yeah. speak up i'll it's say clearly something. an all right fine i'm here all right jan thanks oh, for joining right. the show man tell us where you work and what's going on in your market okay right uh this is jan i'm a real estate broker from southern california los angeles and south bay and uh like uh, most of the country uh i mean it's part of it is seasonal you see that uh it always is slow down a little bit because People get excited about vacations or doing whatever they want to do. Uh, but other than that, is uh, it's the frenzy is a little bit uh, slowed down. But still, you know, it's a very healthy market, I call it. And uh, those things are, are getting uh, enough uh, uh, viewership and offers. It's not like 20 or 30 offers, but still uh, solid offers. And the good thing is the, the buyers are all qualified and you know, ready to move and sellers are also on the same uh, range that they're more serious. So I think part of it is, is with the whole pandemic, the whole shift in how, uh, you know, the viewing of the home and uh, for someone to view an open house or, I mean, before that, they didn't have as much open houses, but uh, for them to even see a house, they had to provide their pre-approvals and you know, all the legwork was supposed to be done. So that has been very helpful. And, and that's why I, I think it, it sort of helped. That's that's one of the few benefits of the, the COVID. And, but other than that, it's just a very healthy and, uh, 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 but, but it slowed down a little bit. And that's uh, my market and I yield the mic. Thanks, man. And he brings up a great point. One of the side benefits to this crazy buyer's market is that, or crazy seller's market, is that Seller. buyers are super prepared, super, super prepared, where uh, previously, <laughs> you know, in the normal market or the 90 days uh, on market average or 120 days on market average, you would have a buyer that would you know, get pre-approved after going under contract in some cases. And we would always tell people, no, 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 no. You need to do that beforehand. You need to do that beforehand. You need to do that beforehand. And sure enough, you find out that the, the agent that has the, uh, the offer on your property, that was just a general approval. They weren't actually approved. They just had a light credit pool from some kind of agency. So it's, it's definitely a, a much, uh, much different scenario. Uh, we're even getting uh, proof of funds for buyers down payment in some cases, you know, if they have to put four or five, $6,000 down on the house and then we'll get a pre-approval for the loan. And if the lender does not mention the funds available for the down payment, then we'll ask to see a proof of funds for that too. Um, Jason Bates joins us. Oh, wait, Salt Lakers says uh, the shift is about to hit the fan. <laughs> you think it is really? Uh, I think it's going to be so slow. Jason Bates says, is the market cooling off because buyers are tired of getting beat up, outbid, and decide to exit the process? Mm -hmm. That's some of what I'm seeing in the Phoenix market. I think there is some of that. I think people are saying, you know what? I'm just going to wait until the end. Yeah. Uh, and I, I mean, are... <clears throat> go ahead. Well, they, I mean, they feel they've been going through this a long time, you know, and I have a set of buyers that are now in escrow and we're pushing towards closings. Um, but they went through six months of this. And they went yeah. through tons and tons of ups and downs and they did not give up. You know, at one point we took a break, but they did not give up. We got back into it and now they're in escrow on a beautiful house. So I can only imagine that some buyers are like, dude, you know, I did have another client that she's like, I'm going to try it. We're going to try this. You know, we went out, we went an offer. We went in as strong as she could go and she got beat out and she's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> and that was her one offer. She's like, I gave it a shot. I'm going to wait until it cools off a little bit. So I assume that's, that's yeah. part of it, you know, it, but it's, it's a little bit of a, how do you double edged sword? Because interest rates are still at 3%, whatever they're at 3.03 or whatever they're at right now. So buyers are like, I don't want to be doing this, but I have to do this. 
Yeah, we all know they're going to go up eventually. And then home prices are probably going to continue to rise, too. They'll just rise at a slower <laughs> pace. Home, oh, yeah. prices, home, or home, price home price gains will right? slow, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of, stronger... I, did you see... Sorry, go back up yeah, to yeah, D's. I'm going to come back to okay. it. Because I found an article. Okay, good. 